So Donald Trump ended birtherism, uh, but there's more to the, the story. He w did so at a press conference where he told everyone he was going to make this big statement. However, once he finished the press conference, which he didn't start till uh, 45 minutes too late, then when the media outlets showed up and started covering it, they did 20 minutes of just um, Medal of Honor winners endorsing Donald Trump. And then finally, after 20 minutes, CNN said, uh, OK, we're just going to minimize that to the corner and move on to other things because Donald isn't saying what he said he was going to say. Then Fox and MSNBC tuned out. Then finally, Donald comes on, gives his two-line two statement ending birtherism, and then walks off. He doesn't take any questions. Here's what it looked like on the floor. Now we all want to get back to making America strong and great again. The reporter's saying, I'd like to ask you questions. Then Donald leaves. The press pool, not allowed to follow him on the tour of his resort, which he also plugged in that half hour. Um, and not only that, they didn't let the press leave until after Trump had moved on. And it felt as though, according to TYT Politics' own uh, Eric Byler, that the whole place was going to collapse. Take a look. As they say in, in sports, go with the girl that you see. Dance with the girl you brought. Whoa. And that, and that, <laughs> did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> so that, there was a, a special flag honoring the fallen veterans and stuff. It all collapsed with the American flag. I, I, how disrespectful were they to the American flag right there? Absolutely. And I like they how, don't care. <laughs> I like Eric, our, uh, uh, check it out on TYT politics. Did great coverage of that and, and many other things. Uh, he ducked as if there was a mortar coming in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. and he's but, unfortunately, severely hampered by the fact that the five people behind him did not duck. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, he was doing it so they could get a full shot right. of the, That's the story I'd spin now, too. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, a bit of a literal collapse mm -hmm. in this case. I love the balls on Trump. That is going to be taken out of context. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Prove it. I want to see the ball. That he does. He's he's 53 days away from from uh, being pre possibly becoming elected president. I mean, he's at almost 50-50 in the polls. I mean, he's uh, being the most important job, the most powerful person on earth, and he's plugging his hotel. He had them go around with cameras oh. and do a tour of the hotel. He plugged the hotel in the press conference while people. He can't help himself. He's a natural con artist, and he's like, and I'm, and he's like, okay, I got all these cameras here. We got to make a buck off of it. Everybody, get ready to make a buck, okay? I'm uh, launching this great hotel. All right, make sure that they. But he wouldn't let the reporters go with the cameras. So eventually, the person who's doing the pool, the pool is uh, the person who shoots it for everyone else to share. So they pool together resources, and hence the name pool. Uh, they're like they deleted it. They they deleted the video because he wouldn't let a reporter go in. So they're like, no, we're not going to just do a giant advertisement for your hotel here. Um, but you know, having said all that, and I know it's loser Donald, and he's a clown in 18 different ways. But I actually think that he might have rickrolled the the press in a smart way here, to be honest. And I, in fact, I looked at the night and I thought, looks like Roger Ailes to me. I, I could be overstating that, and but but. You know, if I if you got free 25 minutes, the idiot networks are going to give you for free. You might as well do a 25 minute ad. And the minute CNN switched off, a minute later, MSNBC and Fox did. And then a couple minutes right after that, he came out. He came out. I could just see Roger Ailes looking at a TV. Hold, Donald. Hold. I know you want to get out there. Yeah. Hold. Yeah, I mean, maybe hold. it was planned, or otherwise, or they just saw what was happening. Yeah. Like this is great. Let's just keep going. Like there, this is free. No, I, yeah, I mean, look, as always, just the mere fact that he says, I I ended it, you know what I mean. Like, that's ballsy, right? That's, again, yeah. that's, that's, I mean, his, <laughs> that's his Harambe moment, you know? I mean, he's a, 
He's doing this again. <laughs> oh, I thought, okay, good. <laughs> not the moment think, when he's getting shot. No, not that moment. No, no, no. Two, two, two. Uh, you know, I literally, I forgot that that's what, I, I, there's so many around me that I forgot that that's why he's famous. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was okay. Like, yeah. Don't take anything out. Yes, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so, uh, and, and so basically the cable news guys are upset, but they should be upset at themselves. Why do you keep covering his empty podium? And if you're, and and the Trump guys, I think in this case, smartly figured out if they're going to cover the empty podium. We might as well go put make put somebody up there and just start talking about how great Trump is. Let's just keep it rolling until the idiots turn away. A couple of things I'd like to I, add. give him credit for that. I I, I agree. So, uh, the, uh, <laughs> the first guy who greeted him off stage, I'm pretty sure, said, "Great speech." <laughs> <laughs> right, the, the gray-haired guy. That great, yeah, it was great. It's really nailed it. Uh, and then to put a button on this thing, in 2012, Trump offered to donate five million dollars if Obama would produce records related to his citizenship. Long uh, after others had stopped pressing the case, Trump continued. President should come clean. Trump said on Irish television in 2014, mm -hmm. unearthed uh, a clip unearthed by BuzzFeed th last night, Thursday night, refusing to accept that Obama's Hawaiian birth certificate was genuine proof. Quote. A lot of people feel it wasn't a proper certificate. So nothing changed when Obama uh, uh, released that. And here we are uh, five years later, and he is not uh, paying the $5 million that he promised. And apparently he buys it, period. Obama was born in the United States, period. So, and, and it sounds like a little bit like Yale's, but it's also very Trumpian to take credit for the thing you started in the first place. That's right. Yeah. The debacle that you started in the first place. Right. And so... And, but what, what is not like Trump, and that's why I think there's someone else smart behind the scenes who are, who's helping him here with the media is, Trump couldn't help himself normally. If he was not guided, he would have gone up there and talked and talked mm -hmm. and taken yeah, questions right. and gotten himself in trouble and accidentally punched himself in the face. So that's why I feel like it's Ailes or someone else going, hey, these are the two sentences you're going to read, then you're going to get the hell off the stage. <laughs> and, and part of the reason that I think it's Ailes, other than all the news reports saying that they're now... Uh, you know, he's advising him and consulting him, et cetera. And the fact that I could see Ailes' work I I in all this is because he's one of the rare guys that Trump would actually trust right. and listen to. If someone that didn't have that kind of stature told Trump, hey, knucklehead, read the two sentences and get off the goddamn stage, he wouldn't listen. This is why it's so hard to run against Donald Trump. This is not in any way a backhanded compliment of Hillary Clinton. It's just pointing out what I think is clear and obvious, that it's so hard to run against him because it's now incumbent on the Clinton campaign to talk about the birther thing for as many days as it takes before Trump is in front of a television camera again so that people will ask him about it. Like, they've got to keep it in the news in order to get the questions that he would not take here asked. And then they're keeping that in the news and not talking about any of the things that theoretically they ought to be I talking about. I don't think anything matters. I, I don't wrote think that down. anything yeah. matters. I don't think Hillary has, there's no, she should just think about herself and not think about Donald Trump because there, uh, there's nothing this guy can do. I mean, he could drop his pants and jerk off, and it, it, it's <laughs> not going to make a difference. <laughs> yeah. It does. It's really, it's just, it just, mm. it's, mm. there is. I ended it, period. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I heard there was a boner, and I got rid of it. Okay. I started that boner, and I ended it. 